our TV screens this evening and episode one focuses on the vegan diet and as you have done before, it's total immersion. I'm drinking Joe Duffy's tea at the moment. <laughs> Life in the radio centre. Very he, he, he leaves tea bags on his desk and he's gone after four o'clock so you can nick them. Yes, I did. We did a paleo diet in the first series of the programme and then I did a high protein gym diet in the second programme and then we decided veganism is having its moment right now. You've seen the billboard. Well, Philip, not everybody has seen the billboards, and none were shown on the show. Despite the producers doing an interview and having a discussion about going on the show with Go Vegan World director, Sandra Higgins, the campaign was excluded from the show. Sandra Higgins is Ireland's best-known vegan campaigner. Her educational campaign has now gone worldwide. It is an evidence-based campaign which makes claims such that the production of dairy is inhumane even when the best welfare standards are adhered to. This claim was investigated by the Advertising Standards Authority complaints by the UK dairy industry in an attempt to gag the campaign. The UK ASA ruled in favour of Go Vegan World, finding its claims to be factual and evidence-based. This campaign is making mainstream news. Why was it excluded from a program dedicated to a vegan diet? After all, its advertisements have provoked outrage from the animal agricultural industry in Ireland and the UK with their factual call to be vegan and respect the rights of other animals. No doubt a contribution to the show from Sandra Higgins would have given viewers an accurate description of veganism. The exclusion of Go Vegan World from the show is another example of bias and imbalance that contributes to a breach of the 2009 Broadcasting Act.